You've seen this shield before. Um, it's uh, mine. I made it some years ago. It's uh, Romano British, uh, late Roman, if you like, and it has this smooth dome of a boss in the middle of it. Um, and this is quite a, a useful thing. It protects my hand, and by being smooth, it makes this shield quite easy to live with. I never catch it on my cloak, I don't snag it on my fellows marching next to me, there's nothing to catch. It's a convenient boss, but there were shield bosses, um, the Saxons and others had them, which had a little, it's not really a spike, some people have described it quite wrongly as a spike, it's a sort of button on a stalk on the front of the boss, and you might think, what's that for? Uh, well, uh, some of them were decorative, some of them you know, had little inlays of, of, of jewels or enamel or something and looked quite nice, but I don't think that's the main reason they were there, uh, because there is that awkwardness you introduce. As soon as you put anything sticking out on the front of the boss uh, on your shield, which is something you have to carry around all the flipping time, you're introducing this, this, this danger of snagging. Um, but I have, in reenactment, fought against people with shields with those buttons sticking out, and as I'm trying to get around his shield with my right hand, let's assume that he's right-handed as well, I'm trying to get around his shield that way, he's trying to get around my shield that way, um, quite often I'll go high and then I'll try to go low under his shield, so I'm doing up and down like this, trying to get either over or under his shield, and he's doing the same on this side to me. And if my blade comes along down his shield like this, it could catch it could catch on that button, and that never actually happened. All the time I fought, I never ever caught my sword on that button. So you might say, ah, well, there you go. In which case, that's not what it's for. But actually, I contend that is still what it's for, even though it never happened when I actually tried it. The thing is that I was perfectly aware that it would get caught, and so I always avoided it. But that always meant a tiny delay I could notice there was an advantage. It took me, to say, to go from here, slide around his shield and go under, it took me maybe just a quarter of a second, maybe not even that much, longer to do it because I had to avoid getting caught on that button. And that's what I think they were for.